Good morning po sa bawat isa. Welcome again to another live stream of Christ to the Orient Missions. Unahan ko na po ang bawat bagay na sasabihin ko. Happy Mother's Day sa bawat nanay ko na nakikinig, sa bawat anak na nakatune in po dito. Make your mom feel special today. In a very uh, random but simple uh, gesture of appreciation, affection, and even love. Alam niyo po, sometimes, even kahit na hindi makayos ang relationship niyo ng inyong mother, nevertheless, allow them to feel that they are loved, they are still a daughter of the, of the Heavenly Father, and even she should be blessed uh, regardless ng inyong experiences together. I, for myself, ako po, it's just simply a uh, special privilege ko. Uh, gusto kong batiin ang aking mother. Uh, Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Ganun din ang aking lola. Happy Mother's Day po sa inyo, Ma. And uh, lahat po ng nanay dito, lahat ng aking mga nanay dito po sa ating church. Happy Mother's Day po. Nasa isip, pagpuso po namin kayo. And we never, ever forget to pray for you. Hallelujah. Ngayon pong linggo nito is another opportunity for us to listen and learn po sa salita ng Panginoon. And I'm very excited. This is since Mother's Day. Of course, pababayaan po ba natin na magkaroon tayo ng, uh, ng Mother's Day na walang Mother's Day preaching. I'm very excited because we're going to talk about the motherhood that represents the very God that we serve. The very God who created us. The God who gives us the, the peace, gives us the love, gives us the affection that we really don't deserve. Katulad po ng ating mga nanay. Ang nanay po, ang mga nanay po natin is filled with grace and mercy. Ang mga nanay po natin is very, very loving and very caring and concerned po para sa atin. Oh, man, I miss my mom so much. And it, kasi nasa Davao po siya ngayon, hindi siya makauwi dahil sa ECQ. But at the same time, it's fine. Kasi po, um, meron tayong technology, we get to appreciate each other. We get to, you know, kailangan lang everyday ma-remind namin ng bawat isa na mahal namin ng isa't isa. And, and uh, marang min minsan may pulitan. Uh, we make sure na minsan kami magkapatid. Tinatawagan namin ang nanay namin na niloloko namin siya. O kaya, uh, pinasasaya. And then, minsan pinag-iiga. But nevertheless, it is something, uh, sort of a joy para po sa atin to enjoy our mothers. Or even to remember kung ano po yung mga pinagdaanan natin at paano po tayo niligtas at uh, uh, inaruga ng ating mga ina. Shall we pray? Father, today, we thank you that you allow us, Lord God, to meet once more. I'll meet online, Father God. Lord, hindi po, uh, hindi po harang, Panginoon, itong pinagdadaanan namin lockdown and quarantine para hindi namin, Lord, ma mapag, uh, uh, mapag-aralan at mapakinggan, Lord, ng inyong salita. But Lord, today, we just want you, Lord, to, to inhabit our praises. We want you, Lord God, to, to intervene, Lord, sa aming uh, live stream. And I pray, Lord God, that you become the center of everything that we do. May it be, Lord God, sa aming mga preaching online, sa aming mga, mga devotion, sa aming mga pag-awit, pag Lord, and even, Lord, sa aming thoughts about you, Father. I pray, Lord, that I convict mo kami. I pray, Lord, that I rebuke mo kami. I pray, Lord, that I comfort mo kami. We thank you, Father, and we give you glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're very excited this Sunday kasi po, um, katuloy nga nang paulit-ulit po sinasabi, it's, it's a Mother's Day special. Alam niyo po, hindi lamang yung mga birthday ang kailangan natin i-celebrate sa quarantine, but at the same time, ang ating Mother's Day, mamaya we're gonna do something special about sa mga Mother's Day. Marami kami mga nanay dito sa Mission House. Kaya nga, we, we opted to do something special about them so so prosayin namin sila kung gusto niyo wala man yung PPM namin sa inyo. <laughs> Alright? But at the same time, you know, when we talk about motherhood, uh, we're, we're talking about something na, uh, something na ramdam na ramdam natin, especially sa culture ng mga Pilipino. Ang, ang mga nanay po is mga unsung heroes natin yan. Hindi natin sila, there's no way that we can appreciate them enough. But this is not in contrast po sa mga tatay natin. Okay, magalala na that. So, may mga fathers, may fathers na din tayo. So, sila, pag-pray natin na huwag naman quarantine yung Father's Day din. But nevertheless, we celebrate Mother's Day today. It's their day. Make them feel special. And today, we're gonna talk about how much the Lord values motherhood. 
Kasi alam niyo po, whether you like it or not, alam niyo, very well known ng Panginoon as a symbol of fatherhood. Para ang, ang tingin po natin sa Panginoon is tatay. And very, very strongly, do we do we see the Lord as, as you know, the epitome of fatherhood. But nevertheless, don't get me wrong. I mean, kung din po kayo mag-mistake ma- ma- that motherhood was also designed by God. It is not designed by God outside of His character. It was designed by Him and represented by, uh, represented by Him and will represent Him. So designed by Him, represented by Him, and will represent Him. In, in Mark chapter 10, verse 29 to 30, it says there, whoever follows me, sabi ni Jesus, at kung iiwanan niyo man ang inyong tahanan, ang inyong kapatid, ang inyong tatay, nanay, ay magkakaroon ng reward sa langit. But never, if you pong mistake ito as a means to neglect family over following Jesus Christ. Kahit nasabihin po natin na ang priority pa rin po natin over family is following Jesus Christ, huwag po niyong isipin na walang value ang family sa Panginoon. As a matter of fact, God designed family. God designed the community. God designed uh, uh, identification with people that He purposely put in our lives. At ganyan din po yan when it comes to motherhood. Motherhood is all about uh, representing something that God, uh, who God is, who God is. Ang, ang very heart ng Panginoon does not only uh, illustrates yung fatherhood niya sa buhay natin but also illustrates the, uh, yung ideal motherhood na makikita natin. To be honest with you, you know, Christian mothers have an opportunity to show their children what it feels like to be war, uh, to be loved, what it feels like to be warmed, what it feels like to feel grace and mercy more than father does. Now, this is debatable. Kasi it is a case-to-case basis. But more especially, ang design mo ng mga nanay sa tahanan is to be, uh, you know, is to be yung parang pinaka-affectionate. Sila yung, uh, sila yung football ng emotion ng isang bata o ng isang growing uh, person. But we're excited today because definitely we will journey on how our mothers represent Jesus and represent the Lord in our lives. Kasi important po to, we're not here to put our mothers in a pedestal. pedestal. They don't need that. Hindi po natin kailangan na purihin masyado ang ating mga nanay. Whether we like it or not, our mothers are already glorified according to grace and mercy ng Panginoon. Whether we like it or not, God appreciates our mothers some more than we do. But, but, we're going to journey on dito po sa word ng Panginoon so that we would understand what it means to be a mother and at the same time what it means to illustrate or to be the epitome of certain characteristics ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Now, what? Huwag muna kayo malis, you know? Hindi porket kayo po yung mga lalaki and uh, well, hindi naman ako magiging mother one day. Eh, marami hindi, wala kayo, hindi para sa inyo itong preaching na to. I hope na may matutunan po tayo today when it comes to these things. Alam niyo po, I'll be honest with you, this message will not only help you to see a good wife if you're a man, it is, it is not only a means para po makonvict kayo with, for not honoring your mother enough, but it, all, it is also a means for you to see good characteristics represented by your mothers that are in, uh, in reflection sa karakteristik ng Panginoon. Okay? And even kung kayo po ay mga babae, if you're young, if you're unmarried, then you would now know kung ano po ang, ang value ng motherhood when it comes to design ng Panginoon. If you're a mother, and, and ito po mga bagay na ito, it's a good introspection. This message is for everybody. Even if na puro motherhood ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, we will pick up a thing or two when it comes sa ating Christian living dito po sa message na to. So let's journey on. I have some characteristics here that are you know, parang kung magkakumparative po sa isang nanay at sa Panginoon. Of course, 
Um, we're not saying na perfectly na, 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 na gagawa ito ng isang nanay. But meron tayo mga roots dito. And we're gonna talk about these values with deep meaning and the values with deep uh, uh, etymologies or more deep origin so that we can understand more what what is being represented sa pag-alaga, sa pag-aruga, at sa pagmamahal ng bawat nanay sa mga anak nila at sa mga tao sa paligid nila. Number one is that mothers show God's glory. Mothers show God's glory. Now, this is a different kind of glory. Alam niyo po, ang fathers, you know, even if this is not a Father's, uh, father's Day preaching, Mothers, um, oh, sorry, um, fathers, they, they show a level of strength and reliability that is representing the character of the Lord. I'm saying representing a lot because simply we really, really want to create an image here. Diba? But more on the hands-on, and you know, more on the hands-on things. Mothers really show kung ano po ang glory ng Panginoon. Let me explain this to you. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Paul says that women are saved through their childbirth. Now, that, don't get me wrong, okay? They're not saved pag sila'y nanganak, of course, kasi magiging selective yan. Kung hindi ka nanganak, then, you know, magiging biased tong message na to. And we're not saying na ang salvation ng mga babae is pag sila'y nanganak. That's not what Paul intends. But you must understand na um, if you're reading your Bible, na ang pains ng childbirth was a punishment or was a consequence of sin. Nung si Eva po ay nagkasala in, in, in the first fall, in the fall, nung kinaya nila yung forbidden fruit, the, the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Wow. When, when they did that, nung, nung kinaya nila yun, the Lord showed them their consequences. As for men, sinabi ng Panginoon na hindi na magbubunga ang land for you automatically but you have to toil it at kailangan mo na pag-irapan. As for you, woman, sabi niya, you will not have an easy childbirth anymore but you will experience extreme pain. Now, if that is the case, now we now see but by um, in giving birth, women are able, women are able to endure child's birth even through their pain. Even through their pain. And in why something that, that the Lord, you know, still orchestrated. Now, dahil po, dahil po sa kanilang pain, I don't know kung anong pinagdadaanan ng mga nanay dito, but I, I imagine it is filled with excitement, joy, pain, so maghahalok-halok na. And that is not a beautiful thing to look at. Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen one. Hindi pa ako nakakita ng nanay na, oh, na on the spot na nanganganap. Okay? I don't know if that's gonna happen ever. But nevertheless, I can only imagine kung anong pinagdadaanan nyo. Uh, my, my sister told me na sobrang sakit. My mom, lagi niya kinikwento kung anong pinanganak niya ako. Ang, 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 uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Ang timbang ko nung pinangalan ko is 8.8. You know, most of you know how huge or how tall my mom is. <laughs> and I could never imagine how, how a guy this big and lumabas from that. But nevertheless, the pain of giving childbirth is, uh, of, of, you know, giving birth is something that unimaginable for a person like me, for a guy like me. Okay? Hindi, hindi ko may imagine yan. Nevertheless, they go through it. They endure it. Even with the consequences of the sin, of the original sin. Even if, if those pain is excruciating. As sabi sa akin ni Ayan, Dr. Ayan, ang um, babae daw pag nanganak, it, it adds five years sa buhay nila. You know? It adds five years. Kaya pala mas mukhang matanda sa akin kapatid ko. <laughs> just kidding. But imagine if, if these things are happening just for childbirth, then we now know na yung sacrifice ng magulang natin o ng nanay natin is, is something that is unimaginable. 
And this is something that that also shows you. It, it's an ima image na, ng Panginoon of excruciating pain just for developing a new life. Just for giving out a new life. God's glory is something na hindi po natin talaga makita simply by sinabi, sinasabi lang, simply by talking about it. It really demands a certain level of sacrifice. It demands a certain level of consistency. A level of of practice sa buhay po natin. And women, mothers, they do that. They sacrifice themselves in childbirth. They, they, they're consistently in love with you. They're, they're consistently sacrificing most of their time. Most of their love. Those are, those are good mothers. I'm, I'm reminded of, of, of great mothers of boy. You know, uh, I would say I have many mothers. Maraming mga tao nag-aalaga sa akin. I used to be, I used to believe that I'm self-made. But going back, there's a lot of people who cared for me or concerned, uh, you know, concerned sa sa boy. And I've heard of a story, I've heard of a story ng isang nanay na uh, every day ginagawa niya and sinusulatan niya ng, ng Bible verses yung uh, papel at then nilalagay niya kung saan man makikita ng anak niya sa salamin, sa panyo, sa wallet hanggang sa dumating yung time na naging pastor yung anak niya I, I also heard the story of a mom na talaga is unceasingly praying sa, sa homosexual niyang anak and she won that victory okay? and ngayon isa rin isa sa mga testimony na narinig ko when my dad died one of uh, uh, a lady pastor Ang ginawa niya is uh, she went to me, binigyan niya ako ng style, kung makala ko, yun yung sinuserve namin sa laman. It turned out she baked me a cookie. And I really appreciate that. And even ngayon po, maraming mga mothers ang, ang uh, talagang nag-aaroon na sa atin. May, even sa mission field, may mga, uh, may mga nanay tayo dyan na, na, na nanonoro presa, biglang nagdadala ng mga surprises, mga desserts. And you know, we feel love that way. And when we do, it's not bad or it's it's a must even for us to be reminded that God does that to us. He makes things happen. Ang sweet, sweet ng Panginoon sa atin. Lagi niya tayong kinukomfort. Lagi niya tayong nililid through His ways, through His, uh, uh, through His goodness. And it says there that, that pag tayo po ay, ay nag enjoy ng mga bagay na we see God's glory. In, Gen in, in Psalm chapter 19, verse 1, it says there, all creation show the glory of God. And if these creations, this moms, these people, ay nagpapakita ng mga bagay na talagang nakakakilitig, nakakakilitig, then you will understand that this is God's glory showering you with goodness through our moms. Sa mga nanay natin, so when I lay out this church, I'm reminded that every time na nakikita ko sila, yung yun ang paborito ko yung nagkakamusta, yung may mga may magagamot sa akin sa palo, o may may magagamot sa akin ng mga ng mga regalo, yung mga maliit na bagay lang, o may may magtatanong ng size ng sapatos ko, <laughs> and all these things, I'm grateful sa Panginoon because this is the very characteristic that God does. His glory is not something that we simply adore, we simply worship, but His glory is something that interacts with us. And, and that is something amazing, something that we can see sa ating mga nanay. Second is that moms give new life. You know, women are like God. They have the gift of generative love. They generate love. It, it's very peculiar. Ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin kaya may produce as men. Okay? It, ang dad ko malambing ang daddy ko. To be honest with you, he's, he's very interactive. Talaga, ma, ma, talaga, we, nag, nag, we talaga were very touchy. Talagang niyakap ako ng tatay ko, may hindi kami magkakbayan. Minsan talaga uh, makakasabihan. Pag nagmamotor kami, ayakapin ako ng mahipit niya. That's how my dad is. 
but you know, that's a very strong love. You know, kahit yakapin ako ng dad ko, there's a level of strength na mararamdaman mo that strong love. But when my mom does that, I melt. You know, parang, you, you know, you, it's a very warm love na talaga, uh, it, it, you know, parang kahit anong tibay mo, kahit maton-maton ka, when your mom loves you, you just fall in that. But the thing about it is that your your women and, and anybody who will represent motherhood is like God who, who generates love. When you say generates love, when they love you, it wells up in you. When they love you, there's something that builds up inside of you. And that's how women love. Women has the ability to love a man in such a way that she can turn into a human being. It means a being who breaks down walls. Now, friends, that is the same love that God has. It breaks down walls. It means that maybe we get off our high horses. Kahit anong atibay natin, kahit anong mga, kahit iniinda natin, when we think we're strong, when our mothers make us feel love, we fall, we break. And that is the truth. Now, Alam niyo, when you're a disciple, if you're a pastor, disciple, or a church leader, we have to have the same love. We need to have the love that breaks down walls. Hindi na kahit anong level ng, ng counseling, kahit anong level ng, ng threat, kahit anong level ng, ng, mga, ng mentoring ang gagawin natin. If we are not a person that generates love towards others, well, we can't help them as much. Now, if you want to learn how to generate love, we learn through our mothers. We learn how they do that. Moms give life, you know? And is, this is something very special. I don't know if you've thought about this, natutunan mo na to sa isang Bible study or not, but you know, you understand this, that the, the creation of life was something that was gifted to our mothers. Of course, you know, may process yan, okay? Uh, may process yan, for the sake of our uh, child-friendly live stream, you know, uh, but nevertheless, nevertheless, this is something very sacred that the Lord designed so that life can be created. Procreation at tawag dyan. But you go throughout that process, all throughout the process, it is the moms. It is the moms that, you know, at one point, they eh, uh, 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 you know, yung, yung climax, the process, na yun, which is in childbirth. And to be honest with you, yung pains na yun, sinasabi natin, that came from the, originals, uh, from the original story of sin, yan ay hinihinda ng mga natin. So, I would say because of that, because of that, ang, ang childbirth is now more or less tarnished, the dungisa. You just, just imagine if, if we did not sin. Hindi ang dali-dali lang siguro sana magbigay ng childbirth. Uh, I made a mistake one time, nakakita ko ng illustration kung paano tinatahit. I don't know kung ano yung process na yun. Maybe some of you can put it in the comment. Yung tinatahit yung, yung What's the word? I mean, I'm lost. The puerta ng no nanay after the childbirth. I mean, I am told in that process. I just don't remember. And I mean, wow. And I got, I mean, that is <laughs> unimaginable for me. That is something that I cannot describe on my own. But spiritually speaking, the pain in childbirth was something that tarnished that beautiful life creation because of sin. Parang, supposedly, it's something that God designed so that life, new life, can be brought out of the earth into the world. Now, nadungisan yan because of the sin, and now not only is it difficult, but it's very painful. Now stay with me on this, because we there's a brighter side to this. So now, now that we know that this tarnishes, 
childbearing, uh, in, in childbirth, wouldn't you say that this pain or what they endure has turned the life-giving process of childbirth into a redemptive season ng Panginoon for mothers and women alike? I hope that gets you your context there, your concept there. Not only are they producing new life, but they're now a model of redemption. Because not only are we able to continuously produce new life in childbirth, but we're even able to do it despite the pain, despite the difficulty. And it becomes a concept of redemption. Wow! I mean, hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Have you ever thought of that? That we're not only creating new life through childbirth anymore, we're now redeeming people through that process. Diba? So sabihin natin that our mothers are now agents of redemption. Because nevertheless, even though my pain, even though my difficulty, they did that so that they can produce new life. Does this not sound familiar? Even my pain, even my difficulty, Jesus Christ pursued, endured the cross, all for the sake of new life. Hallelujah. Isn't that not exciting? Wow! I mean, I'm, I'm blown away by this. <clears throat> I'm blown away with the fact that our mothers now can see a different kind of light <laughs> in childbirth. Na kahit na tarnish ng sin, ang yung panganganak because of pain and suffering, God allowed that to be a scheme of redemption. To be a, a, a plan of redemption. To be a model of redemption. Just like Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mothers embrace this consequence so that we may be born. Just as Christ embraced His consequence so that we can be reborn. They give you life. Number three, they welcome and they nurture. They welcome and they nurture. Sounds like the church. <laughs> Sounds like the church. But let me discuss welcome first. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 24, pinag-usapan mo natin, pinag-usapan dito yung uh, model ng pag-aasawa. So as a woman leaves her father and mother so that she can submit to her new husband. To her newlywed husband. And the submission is very important key po sa buhay ng isang babae. Okay? Tandaan niyo po. It is not an opportunity for us men to take advantage ng kanilang submission. But it is our responsibility to lead them through their submission so that they would become deeper and deeper sa Panginoon. Even po sa ating, uh, sa, sa, sa process ng procreation, they submit, they welcome things that we give them. And through that, they welcome uh, whatever seed that they receive from their husbands and nurture into something that God has planned and purpose in His life, in the lives of the people around Him, in the lives of of their people will receive the blessing of His calling. Sa buhay po ng bawat nanay, they welcome things and they nurture things. Alam niyo po, sabi nga nila, is there's so much things that uh, that a woman can give through little investment. Give them a child, they give you a family. Give them a house, they give you a home. Diba? Give her love and she gives you grace. 
I hope, you know, this would be an inspiration for, for everybody here. What are we doing in our lives? Ano ang ROI ng mga tao sa atin? Do we do that? Do we create homes through our houses? Or do we break things down? Allow yourself to think whether you're welcoming and you're nurturing. Because this is something that God, uh, that, that, that this is a characteristic of the Lord that is represented by mothers. Nevertheless, this is something that we should be following as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you have to understand that the Bible really talks about submission, even with men. Pagdating po sa relationship and interaction natin sa Panginoon. But at the same time, not only should we welcome things, we should nurture things as well. And if you don't know any role models of boy and girl, then look out for mothers. Look out for mothers, you know. They do it very, uh, you know, very instinctive. It's something God has put in their DNA. They're both welcoming and they're nurturing. They teach you. They build you. They invest on you even. Even. And it's a boy who not in our lives as Christians. We have to allow ourselves to be efficient in welcoming and nurturing things in our lives. Because God will always do that. Will God will always give us things to welcome and nurture. And the key principle there is submission. Hindi porket sinabi sa Ephesians chapter 5 na babae ang dapat nagsasubmit. That's not the case. Kung dating sa ating mga lalak, you know, we also have to submit to the Lord. Simply because uh, the Bible talks about Jesus as our bridegroom, we the bride. As part of His church. So we also submit to Jesus. We submit to His words. We submit to His precepts. We submit to His glory. And once we submit, we learn how to welcome things. We welcome things na taliwas sa ating mga desires. We welcome things na taliwas sa ating mga prinsipyo. And when we welcome those things, we begin to learn to nurture them. See, but the whole thing relies on a word called submission. Submission. Now, number four is very is quite uh, peculiar because we're going to talk about mothers of faith, not necessarily physical mothers, not necessarily biological mothers, but we're talking about mothers of faith. That's why I told you, Hanina. I hope that you're still with me because even if you're not mothers yet, then, uh, you can still be mothers of faith. Hindi ko sinasabi na mag-ampun kayo, hindi ko sinasabi na uh, magkaroon kayo ng anak without uh, by skipping the process, no. But I know a lot of mothers who were more mothers to me na mga walang physical na anak, na walang mga biological na anak. And these mothers I honor so well as well, uh, so much as well. These mothers have not allowed themselves to be distant, simply to be distant and allowing and taking care of other people simply because they've never become mothers as well. I know a lot of mothers like that. Mga nanay na, mga nanay ko na wala namang mga anak. And yet, they persevere in mothering people through faith. They persevere in allowing themselves to be a mother to the motherless. I don't know. Alam niyo, minsan marami tayong mga single po dyan na mga pastor, mga missionaries, mga teachers ng bayan ng uh, Sunday school, who mother people who needs care. They don't wait for other people to do it. If, if they need, if the need arises, they allow themselves to be available to be mothers of faith. And let me challenge you as well. You don't have to be a mother physically yourself. You just rise up to the challenge. There's a lot of orphans all around you. 
And the Bible says the orphans need to be have a father to the fatherless. Of course, we're referring to people who take care of these orphans. But they also need mothers to the motherless. Ultimately, si Lord po ang tugon sa kasalanan niya, ah, sa, sa pangangailangan niya. But we need people to represent God so that they can be led to the Lord. You don't have to be a mother to be a mother. Or you don't need to, to be a mother only to your own child. In Proverbs chapter 31, verse 28, they who rise up to the challenge are called blessed. They who rise up are called blessed. And we want that to happen to you as well. Be blessed, be a blessing. Rise up to the challenge kung saan you take in the orphans and then become the mother of their faith. Share the gospel to them. Feed them if they're hungry. Care for them. Love them. Be gracious to them. Because you will represent the Lord's character by doing so. They will see you and think, I need to know who this person who this person acts after. Who this person looks after. Allow yourself to be mothers of faith. And lastly, mothers show us God. This is one thing that's very, very important. If you're a mom right now, if you have your children, go by word guy to regard them. Or if you have a direct influence in someone's life, show them God. Lead them to the Lord. Don't hoard them for yourself. But be a, a lighthouse. Be a beam or a beacon that shows them kung saan papunta towards the Lord. Don't be satisfied by gathering people to you. One. Be a person that leads people to the Lord. You know, there's a song that I could never forget even for the life of me. And that song goes like this. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Lead the ones to Him below. They are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I could never forget that song. Because I was four years old when my mom taught me that song. I remember it vividly. And from that moment on, from that moment on, I journeyed all throughout my life. And every time I'd like to remind myself of a song, that is the song I sing. You know, my name is Jedidaya. This is something that my parents and my grandparents gifted me. Simply because it means beloved of God. And singing, yes, Jesus loves me, is something that is very personal and very endearing for us. My mom has invested songs, has invested uh, lessons sa akin when I was young. So in return, I now know. Mothers, let this be an eye-opener for everyone. There's so much things that we can do all for the glory of God. We represent Him who needs to be shown to our orphan-hearted people. And if you're listening right now, this does not only apply to women or mothers in general. This applies to everyone. This applies to us men. It also applies to, to, to you women. There are certain characters that God has put in us that must be represented properly. 
And our mothers is, is, is one beautiful example of that image. And we honor them today. We bury the lesson po that God has to be revealed sa mga tao sa paligid through us. But ultimately, it is our relationship with the Lord that naturally reflects who He is in us. And I pray na itong mga bagay na to, that we share to you today would be a guide, uh, would be a guiding light or a guideline sa Christian lifestyle ninyo. How you see the Lord, how you show the Lord, how you interact with the Lord. At the same time, we would like to honor our parents. We would like to honor our mothers. In behalf of every child, every Christian child na nasa paligid, we thank you so much for being caring, for providing for us, for trying your best, and simply by being who you are. We love you, moms. We honor you and give God the glory for your existence. Let us pray for you. If you are with your moms today, if you are listening, napitan nyo, habang sinasabi ko po ito, puntahan nyo mga nanay nyo, just tell them, Mom, I need just five minutes of your time. Pray with me. Magpapray si Pastor Jed and he, he will bless the, all, the moms all around. If you're a mother, if mag-isa ka, just, just put your hand in, in your shoulder, put your hand in your heart. Just bless yourself if no one's around you believing that your, your children who is listening to this live stream as well is praying for you. And we just wish to honor you and make you feel loved today. I mean, if I can only go outside, yayakapin po kayo. But that's not wise right now. Dahil meron tayo social distancing in effect. But we want to pray for you. So I hope that's enough time for you guys to get ready. Lapitan niyo ang inyong mga nanay. Lapitan niyo mga mahal niyo sa buhay. Patungan niyo ng kamay. Yakapin niyo. Just begin to bless them. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for moms. We ultimately give you the glory, Lord, simply because you've allowed us, Lord God, to enjoy such beings. We enjoy them, Lord God, simply because you've allowed them to feel love and pass that love on to us, Lord. We honor them. We give thanks, Lord God, sa kanilang pagpursige. We give thanks, Lord God, sa kanilang selflessness. And in this moment, Lord God, we want to praise you. Dahil if, kung hindi mo kami binigyan ng mga nanay, Lord God, we wouldn't have this kind of war. Lord, may maraming mga tao ang walang nanay, maraming mga tao sa mundo ang, ang hindi sila, hindi ayaw sa kanilang nanay. Lord, I pray that you lead them to us so that we can share you to them, Lord. We can also mother them in faith. I pray, Father God, that you bless people who has the heart like right People, Lord God, who, who goes against the orphan heart of, of, of every person in this place. And welcome them and nurture them into your glory, into your word, into your love. Father, we thank you for these mothers. We love them. But most especially, we love you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for another Sunday, Lord God, that we get to be together even online. To study and learn. To listen find and strengthen our faith. We love you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. Uh, we really appreciate our attendance not in every live stream. Don't forget to bring your family. Listen to God's word. If you have prayer requests, message you po kami. If you have uh, any, uh, anything to, to share to us, please go ahead. We, we really appreciate you if, if you message with us. Uh, Tutuloy po natin ang live stream. Please stay home. Stay safe. Kahit na po mag-extend ang ating uh, enhanced community quarantine, please, mag-iharap po tayo na just a little bit patient. patience. So, uh, matatapos din po ito. Have faith. Believe in the Lord. And uh, all at the same time, God bless you. See you next week.